All right, well, here we are. I can't believe that we are already talking about uh, doing practice test number three. Number three, time sure is flying. And so I hope you're enjoying the course and I hope you're finding the videos helpful here on, on our YouTube channel. And uh, as always, I should go through a couple of housekeeping uh, tips and tricks and uh, little uh, disclaimers, I guess, more than anything. Please make sure that you are doing your homework and that you are going to the math lab, going to the past lab, uh, if you're on the Gardens campus, LL237, and getting the help you need, right? Because these videos do not in any way, shape, or form replace actually doing your homework or doing this practice test yourself. And as I've said in each uh, review series so far, we recommend doing this practice test three times. So the first two times you take this test, go ahead and do it with your notes, do it in the past lab, do it with a friend, uh, use your textbook if you need to. Uh, and then when you sit down for the third time to do this test, you wanna sit down and pretend that it's the actual test day, that you are uh, being given the actual test and go ahead and time yourself and uh, don't use any notes, don't use your textbook and see if you can get through uh, this practice test without any trouble and if you do struggle uh, in a particular area well then you know what it is you need to study for uh, maybe do some extra practice from the textbook on my math lab come to the past lab we can give you some additional resources uh, but if you're able to sit down that third time and fly right through the test without any trouble uh, then you you should be good to go because uh, as I've said uh, over and over again these practice tests were designed to get you ready for the actual test. If it's not on the practice test, um, you won't be tested on it on the on the actual test. And so with that in mind, just make sure that uh, you are keeping up with homework, uh, factoring, which is what we're covering in this um, section, this chapter, this test, is really important. And you're going to see factoring uh, throughout your mathematics uh, journey so it, it doesn't go away so this is really just the start of factoring and so the higher you get in in math you're going to see uh, both simple factoring and certainly much more complicated factoring but um, this is really getting you prepared uh, for that and so you know make sure that you are doing what you need to do uh, in order to really master this topic because uh, it's not going away just like fractions right you're going to keep seeing fractions so uh, a couple of uh, tips in these videos. I'm going to use primarily uh, the scissors method for factoring, but there are as many ways of factoring as there are, uh, you know, stars in the sky, right? There's the AC method, trial and error method, uh, the scissors method, like I mentioned. So uh, you are free to use whichever method you want to when factoring, unless, of course, your professor has specified they want you to use a specific method. And in that case, of course, defer to what it is that your professor is looking for. But if you have been given permission to use whatever method you are mo most comfortable with, then um, by all means, choose what, what you feel comfortable with. But I will primarily, like I said, be using the scissors method. I will try to include um, the AC method in a few examples, because I know some of your professors uh, are showing you that method. Uh, but by and large, I personally find the scissors method the fastest and most accurate uh, way of factoring and so that's that's what I am going to use here all right I think I've mentioned everything I intended to um, just like always the tests uh, or rather the questions on this test are going to be broken up into videos and because of the nature of this particular test uh, I've grouped several questions into each video and so um, you know if you are looking for a particular question just be on, be on the lookout that it might be embedded in one of the videos. So for example, you know, I might do question one through five might be in video one. So if you want question three, well then uh, you're going to have to either skip past a couple uh, questions or it probably wouldn't be a bad thing to sit there and, <laughs> and watch the whole thing. But um, just be aware that you might have to fast forward to get to a specific question that you're looking for. All right, uh, with that, again, my name is Joe Brownlee with Palm Beach State, and uh, I hope that you are enjoying the course, like I said, and uh, if you need anything, I'm always available, so please don't hesitate to, uh, to reach out to me. All right, best of luck with this test, and I will see you in the first video.